My name is Rosa and this is a cookbook of Elvis's favorite recipes. Um, I found this quick cookbook in my parents' gigantic collection of cookbooks uh, during quarantine, just trying to find something to do. They got this as a wedding present. Lovely. Which is not the only um, Elvis-related gift that they got. They also got a bust of Elvis's head. They got a picture of Elvis's gravesite. Um, black and white on his birthday. There are teddy bears, there's flowers everywhere. Very great. And um, I don't think this was a wedding gift, but this is also something that my mother owns. And now I own because she doesn't wear it. It's a vest with Elvis's face on it. This book is filled with um, wonderful down-home recipes compiled by Brenda Arlene Butler. Now, Brenda Arlene, I, uh, full disclosure, already filmed the video that you're about to watch and started editing it and then watched the introduction that I made and it didn't make any sense, so I'm refilming this today that I'm filming the second recipe. During this video that you're about to watch, I kind of reference Brenda as if she, um, were Elvis's personal chef or personally knew Elvis. Turns out that's not true. If I had read the description of this book, it turns out Brenda is just a, a huge Elvis fan. I quote, in the 1970s, she saw him more than 30 times in Las Vegas and still cherish, ch cherishes still cherishes his memory. I mean, she's worked on different Elvis books. She's an Elvis expert, but I don't think she personally knew Elvis, and I can't find a picture of her anywhere. So, I don't know, she's just an enigma. What have I decided that I'm gonna do with all of this information? I'm gonna get into this book today. Um, the video you're gonna watch if you so choose, is um, from the first recipe in the section entitled Breakfast was served all day except in the morning. Brenda was such a card. So this first recipe is for biscuits and red-eye gravy. And yeah, if you stick around with me through all of these recipes, it's not a super long cookbook. Some of them can be compiled into one video because they're just side dishes. At the very end, we're gonna get around to making Elvis and Priscilla's beautiful wedding cake, um, pictured here. Yeah, we're gonna go through this whole book, go through all of the recipes, kind of a Julie and Julia kind of a deal, but it's Rosa Julia and Brenda Arlene and Elvis Aaron Presley. Yeah, I'm excited to go through all these recipes with you guys and uh, get into it. Biscuits and gravy with Elvis, Rosa, and Brindle. Okay. First things first. Hi. I put you down here so you can see the counter. I'm going to clip my hair up and we're going to get started. I'm going to wash my hands because... Wash your hands. Let's go. So first things first, I'm combining the dry ingredients like the flour. It was just enough flour. And then the baking powder and forgetting how much baking powder I was putting in and then proceeding to lose the lid for the baking powder like the whole time I was cooking. God, I suck. And then the cream of tartar and the salt and then I'm adding the shortening which I thought was like really gross for some reason but it's fine and then I'm gonna make a little little uh, divot in the middle for our oat milk which I plopped on in there and I got the whisk <laughs> I decided the whisk was getting too sticky so I grabbed a spatula and this is around the time that the self-doubt really started to settle in. You can see me looking at the recipe being like oh god. So I decided to just wash my hands again. That made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> I hope I'm doing okay. I have no idea. 
just declutter your space, Rosa. That'll make you feel better. Do a little declutter and then realize, oh yeah, it's time to move on and knead the dough. Try not to handle the dough too much. Oh no. Okay, uh, <laughs> cut the dough, slice into squares. I will slice into squares. <laughs> Perfect timing. It doesn't say how big they should be. Transfer to an ungreased baking sheet. Are you sure? I was making a really unnecessarily big deal about grease in the sheet. Turned out totally fine. I'm forming them into squares because it doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, we're popping them in the oven. Now we're gonna make the red eye gravy. I've never had red eye gravy. I like white gravy on my biscuits. Red eye gravy is bacon fat drippings and black coffee. Now I don't know if y'all have made gravy before, but when I've made gravy, I did make it with like meat drippings, but the um, liquid portion was just like vegetable oil. I meant to say you add flour to like the bacon grease. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm very intrigued, um, but I'm gonna make myself some bacon and then we're gonna chow down in like 11 minutes. You don't generally find a Yankee starting the day with red-eye gravy, but for folks growing up south of the Mason-Dixon line, there is little question. When Elvis was growing up in that little house in Tupelo, Mississippi, he awoke many mornings to the sizzle and snap of the bacon drippings in Gladys's big black skillet. When Elvis grew up, Breakfast ceased to necessarily coincide with morning, but he never outgrew his love for biscuits and gravy. gravy and I think I was right unless I just like don't know what the hell I'm doing it's kind of smells really good but it doesn't make any sense so I think we're gonna have to skip out on that did I just like give up on it too soon okay biscuits are probably ready and maybe it's supposed to be like a runny gravy but like it just looks burnt you really wanted me to fail on the first one it's fine uh, I have coffee for me to drink, I have bacon for me to eat, and I have to look at the biscuits. These look like crap! What the hell, Brenda? Okay, I'm gonna plop the biscuits right here. Ignore the smoldering pan. Brenda! Oh! So here's the thing. They're not that bad. They're just so flat. I'm so irritated by that gravy. What the heck? That's not gravy, Brenda! That's not gravy! These biscuits are not fluffy. You're telling me Elvis was happy with this? The king himself? 
I don't know about that. I'm gonna try it. This is the way Elvis felt about this, by the way. I feel the same way, sir. Oh, yep, goodbye. So, what did we learn? This is how I plated it. We're gonna try it. <laughs> did Elvis eat like super, just like brown meals? Did he have fruit? Did he give him fruit, Brenda? I doubt it. My biscuit is very flat and very brown on the bottom. But it's crumbly. Like when I tried to pick up the first one, it broke apart. So that's a good sign. They smell really good. Um, oh, good. My burnt bit. <laughs> burnt bacon, delicious. Let's try this biscuit. I'm not mad about it. It's pretty good. I'm just annoyed that it didn't rise more. Maybe I flat, maybe I worked the dough too much. Maybe in the future, it would help to read the recipe all the way through. That's the biscuits and red eye gravy. That gravy sucked. I don't know what is supposed to happen there. Maybe I'm supposed to have more little bacon bits wiggling around in there and it makes it thicker, but that doesn't make any sense to me because I'm a thick gravy girl. Is red eye gravy something that people eat in general? Or is that just <laughs> Elvis was like? He needs his caffeine fix, but only wants it in the form of gravy. Red eye gravy. Red eye gravy. <laughs> Thin sauce. Okay, so it is just like oil. So I guess I did kind of do it right. I just didn't, I just got scared of it. So in the future, we have to trust Brenda's process and not get too mad at Brenda when she makes our pan sizzle like crazy. Maybe I also should have cooled, I should have cooled the oil and the coffee before combining them in the pan and brought them up. Um, we know for next time. Anyway, the next recipe is uh, blueberry muffins, which I'm very excited about. I have made blueberry muffins before, but not like from scratch scratch. So that'll be good, hopefully. <laughs> I just need to trust Brenda's process. Um, hopefully you enjoyed me failing miserably today. Uh, I hope that in the future, we grow and learn and change, just like Elvis did over the many iterations of his, his style evolution, anything like that, life. That didn't make any sense, but I was trying to make it a moral. All right, bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want, like if you want, comment if you want, and check the description for some links to socials and other nifty things that you can be doing. Thanks again.